54% from the floor for Rat. That's a nice addition. It's going to be interesting to see early how he fits in and uh, what kind of rhythm he is with his teammates. It's another miss. That's over eight now. And here comes Radford. A lead hits the bottom of the net. Alvarado nowhere to go. Moses Wright wants a three, and he rips the ropes. Made three of the season for Moses Wright, now playing at the defensive end, and the double on Aluma. Got away from it, up strong over Moses Wright. Kevin Aluma. At Virginia Tech in its last game, 17 days ago, went to OT. Usher up ahead to Alvarado, who's open for the layup. And those are the things that, uh, you know, Mike Young was telling us, uh, if they have 14 or 16 points in transition. Won the game, 80-76. But again, that was February 6th. Aluma, that's much. Well, you watch that play, and, and Virginia Tech loaded up against the zone on the left-hand side. Couture had it tapped away. Usher to Alvarado. Mike, he poked that away and earned that, too. Yeah, quick hands, and then the release. Good look up the floor. Nothing Virginia Tech could do about it. Number of steals doesn't always, you know, tell you you're a great defensive player, but he is so disruptive out front. As a result of that last turnover. To lean into the paint. Virginia Tech. Here it is. Nice strength, and you can always try to finish that shot. It might go in. Bradford trying to defend the ball. Moore slipped behind the back line. Mutz knocked it out of bounds. See, thing half court Virginia Tech has been solid defensively. Shot clock's down to six. Here is Pemsel. And now Beatty. Shot clock at two. What well, piece of Beatty? It's a big bail out at the end of the clock. And you talk about for a guy that doesn't score a ton of points. Passing will only play seven, eight guys usually in his rotation. They go low to Usher, who sprung free, and DeBoe was able to find him. Played a couple of seasons at BMI. Second year in the Georgia Tech uniform. Moses right. A little backspin on that one, Mike. Uh, he just kind of hit the flange. <laughs> really have a good look at that lob. He would have been better off trying to force the action at the rim. Bradford. Challenged by Wright and Usher, and it's out of bounds. According to Jamie Lucky, it's Virginia Tech ball. Played his prep ball at Mount Zion Prep in Maryland. Usher with the ball. Usher elevates and scores over the defender, Mike. Tyrese Bradford back into the lineup for Virginia Tech. Aluma, the turnaround is short. Follows his own miss. Determination. Sturdivant, high arcing three, and it's money from the corner, right in front of that Virginia Tech bench. Originally from Norcross, Georgia, that's deflected. Here's right, ran into Couture, but still got it to Alvarado. You know you're a senior. You're a senior with the green light. That was a one-on-four break, Tom. And For Georgia Tech, Sturdivant, right, and Alvarado have three pointers, and Alvarado now has seven to lead the club. Mutz, one dribble, and to the rim. Eight boards now for Aluma Mike in the first half. Yeah, after that made three, they wanted to chase third of that off the three-point line. He couldn't finish going left. Nice pass. Radford will finish. <laughs> Moses right with five points, trying to operate in the post. Nice touch, Mike. A lot of isos for the big guys for Georgia Tech. See if Georgia Tech can harvest some points from this possession and take the lead with the shot clock at five. Wright needs to recognize. He does. Luma's got 10 rebounds in the first half. He's out rebounding Georgia Tech, 10 to 7. Bamasil out of the corner. Absolutely right, Mike. They had not played prior to tonight. Since February 6th, in a win at Miami. In fact, both of these teams, their most recent win was on the road in Coral Gables, and there's the ball. Beaver's done a very nice job defensively on him. Usher swoops to the rim. Skillful. He likes to play downhill. Line up on the floor right now. He's got three personal fouls. Bamiso is in for him, and a lean launches a three. Well, he was the one in the half court. He was the most effective offensive player that Virginia Tech had in that first half. Tenth time this season for double-digit scoring. Nahima Lee. They go low. Right. And he'll bend 
on that rim for Georgia Tech. Still trying to find its flow out there. So that's pretty good. You can put the ball in DeVoe's hands and let him create. And they're going to call back two points in the goaltender. And he took Alvarado off the ball. DeVoe, the lefty, tees it up. Doesn't get the soft bounce. Gets it right back for a reload. Followed by Moses Wright. Uh, just a devastating possession. <laughs> Khalid Moore. Right spin cycle, and he does a chin up on that rim. Moses Wright bringing the thunder. Alvarado directs some traffic with five on the shot clock. Crosses over a lead, launches and hits Jose Alvarado. Couture, double team. Moore tried to save it, he was on the end line. They get the 20-second reset on the shot clock. Beattie finds a Loma. What a pass. And that's the easiest basket they've had in the half court. Loma has a mismatch. The tour, quick release. And he hits it. Uh, that's a big bailout because Alvarado was switched off and he had to come back to get his own man. The ball hits it. Over to Tor. I think he, you know, he's going to get that shot because he's got a size. DeVoe. Hesitation baseline. DeVoe calculates the angle. That's for a 49% shooter on the year from the floor. Wright trying to bail out DeVoe and he drops it over the front rim. Moses Wright. 31 points and a career high 19 boards. And they are defending. The follow Mutz, he came in for the jam. They've gone over 13 years with back-to-back, -back, without back-to-back -back ACC road wins. How many hours? I'm doing the calculations <laughs> in my head right now. Oh, out of the corner. And Mutz has a three. Georgia Tech led by as many as 14 in this half. DeVoe Pescator. Yeah, they're, they're really letting DeVoe... Couture gets the footing back. Touch pass, Radford. Alvarado. Moore fed it to right. He spins it in somehow. Moses Wright was fouled. Radford again. Looking at, again, with Georgia Tech, you're going to play the percentages. He's a 25% shooter from behind the arc, so you give him a look. Alvarado with the answer at the other end. Fingerprints all over the record books in Atlanta. Luma got the defender in the air and drops it in. Nice pump take. Again, no double team coming that time. He can work a couple of dribbles. Right. Aluma recovered defensively. Couture to help. Moore knocking down a three ball. Play a game like Moses Wright is. You draw attention defensively and it gets guys really good looks outside. First points for Moore at one end. Aluma with a jumper at the other. He's got 12. So Aluma has his sixth double-double of the season tonight. The lead is 10 for Georgia Tech. Three and a half minutes to go. Moore got fouled, score the bucket. Khalid Moore, who just hit a three for Georgia Tech. Six points for Georgia Tech from Moses Wright. 23 in total tonight for him. Parham tees up a three ball from the corner. Bubba Parham. Final seconds for the Yellow Jackets to erase many years of struggles on the road in the ACC. 69-53, final count. Georgia Tech wins it.